Greetings everyone, DFG here, Gideon's Flight. Hey guys, uh, I just want to take a, a couple of moments and uh, do this video, and this is for, for guys out here, men, adults, 18 years old or older. Uh, if you're paying attention to the news, by now you should be fully aware of how many men are getting themselves in trouble for uh, inappropriate behavior with females. I mean, you know, over and over, young men, middle-aged men, older men, men in the entertainment industry, men in corporate America, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. What I want to share with you guys is that, you know, sexually harassing a female or, or conducting yourself inappropriately, inappropriately, I'm sorry, with a female is totally, totally, totally unnecessary. And here's why. If you want to put yourself in a situation where that you don't have to uh, conduct yourself in a manner that could be perceived as troublesome by females. These are three things, you, there are three things that you just need to remember, okay? Three, it's not complicated. First, you need to be self-sufficient. Second, you need to have common sense. And third, you know, you, know, you can't be gay, all right? Because if, you be, if you're a gay male, then you're probably confused, especially if you a uh, bisexual gay male, you know what I'm saying? Because that, you know, now you don't really know which way you want to turn and, you know, I don't know, oh, that's, that's a strange metaphor that came to mind. You don't know, well, you don't know which way you want to turn. And I guess that's, that's a true analogy, all right. But when it comes down to, to how do you establish a relationship? How do you um, uh, be consistent inside of a relationship? Or furthermore, how you attract the opposite sex? You have to be self-sufficient. And what do I mean by that? Can you take care of yourself? If you can take care of yourself, why are you harassing someone? You know how many females out here are looking for a man that can at least be self-sufficient? That she don't have to take care of? That she don't have to provide for? She don't have to become his mother? You know how many? I bet you it's 10 to 1 that's looking for a man like that. Number two, common sense. You know that's the old saying, common sense is not common. That's true. It isn't common, but it is practical. Common sense is simply saying, don't do something without thinking about it before you do it. Because if you don't think it all the way through, the consequences could be severe. Just ask yourself the question. If I say this to this person, could it be taken the wrong way or could it come back to haunt me? Easy. Or if just read one's disposition, if you see someone that has a disposition that seems to be unfriendly or in many cases totally avoiding your presence. What I mean, you're around them and you can tell they, they, they're not paying you any attention. Okay, that's common sense. That means don't bother them. That means they're not interested. You know, if they're married, if they're in a relationship, look at their ring finger. If you see a ring on that finger, that means they're not interested, even if they may be someone who would, I don't know, you know, act inappropriately in, 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 a, in a marriage relationship. You know, I know some people say, well, some women wear rings because, they, you know, they just want to keep men from bothering them, but they're not married. Exactly. Exactly. They don't want to be bothered. If they have a ring on their finger, that means they do not want to be bothered. Married or not married. Common sense, right? If she doesn't seem to be uh, open to, 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 to your presence, then she's telling you in her own way, don't bother me. Leave me alone. I don't care what she looks like, man. Again, on a planet where men, women outnumber men something like seven to one, eight to one, it's ridiculous for you to harass them. Just be self-sufficient. And if you have common sense, you follow me, then I'm telling you, you can practice what I just said very easily without causing chaos in your life. You know, a part of, another part of common sense. If you know that you're not ready to be a father, you're not in a position to, eco to, to economically take care of a child, then guess what, guys? Don't lay down with a woman. You know, don't lay down with her unless you know that you can do that. All right? And, and, and if you, again, common sense approach to it. You know, if you go around laying down with, you know, with any woman who's willing to lay down with you, you're going to be surprised one of these days. You can bet your last which you'll be spending, I might add, because you did not use common sense before you made that decision to lay down. And then the last thing, again, it's the lesser of the three, 
you know, just don't be gay. You know, women who are heterosexual women, they want heterosexual men. They want a man who's made a decision, you know, that he's going to be a man. All right? Um, you know, he's going to act his, out his behavior, his habits, like a man would. And truly, again, I'm going to be a little repetitive here, but if you are self-sufficient, if you have common sense, and you're not gay, you're going to be attracting a female or females at some time. And I only said females in a plural sense because you will attract them. That don't mean you need to, you know, you know, court them all. But I take this thing all the way back to where I began. If you practice what I'm saying, then you are not going to be on somebody's news program talking about, you know, you have gone, you're going to be sued or you're going to be, you know, I don't know, going to court, going to jail, ruining your reputation because you've gone out there, oh, by the way, getting fired off of a job that you probably really, really need. You know what I'm saying? There, there's an old saying, you know, you know, <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself, getting fired off a job that you really need because you're not using common sense. You're not looking at the signals that I indicated earlier in this video. And there's an old saying, you don't poop where you eat. What does that mean? If you know that you can get in trouble for, for embracing or addressing a female at work and lose your job, that means pooping where you're eating because what you're doing is creating a situation where that you're going to end up losing the very opportunity or your means or your, your way of your lifestyle, your means of income, because you're pooping where you're eating. Okay? Again, it's not, it's not rocket scientists. Rocket science, I'm sorry, men. Take a step back. Reflect. You follow me? You know, you know, contemplate, you know what I'm saying? Ask those real questions, okay, am I seeing these signals? And then secondly, you know what? You know, self-sufficiency means it's okay to be by yourself too, if that's what you choose. Nothing wrong with not being, you know, you know, in, in, in the dating world. If you know, if, if you're a single man, sometimes it's probably in your best interest. Just chill out. Just chill the hell out. But whatever you do, understand this is a very, very toxic environment today. And I'm telling you, there are, there are women in many of these instances who will be more than happy to, to you know, um, report you. Whether you have, if whether it's intentional, your, your intentions were intentional or un unintentional. Be happy to report you, sue you, sue your organization, sue the corporation, you know, to monetize your ignorance. And they'll be right because you are ignorant because you did not use common sense. So again, if you're self-sufficient, if you use common sense and you're not gay, there's no reason for you to be sexually harassing anybody or being called out for inappropriate behavior, okay? Because if, if you don't take this heating, some of you guys, even if you're an you know, hourly uh, wage earner, you're going to lose that job if you don't listen to what I'm saying. And for those of you who are, you know, in a position where, you know, you, you may be a six-figure income, surely, you know, that moment of ignorance is not worth losing, you know what I'm saying, you know, your means of being self-sufficient. <laughs> Funny how it comes back, all right? But anyway, that's all I have for you guys, but, I mean, you can't turn on a news station. I saw something with Andrew Yang. I don't know if you know who the hell he is. doesn't matter to me. But my parent is Russell Simmons. You know, you could go on to who, some of these other guys, R. Kelly. You can go on, which he's kind of a pervert, so I shouldn't have probably said him. But, you know, you know all the guys, you know, Mike Tyson, guys who have served time, Tupac Shakur, you know, um, rest in peace. But all of these people that you know, celebrities and non-celebrities, whose lives were ruined because they could not step one, take one giant step back and ask themselves a, a serious question. Is this person interested in me? Has she given me the single, I'm sorry, signals that she's interested in me? And if she hadn't, get the hell on up the road, dude. Okay? All right. <laughs> That's all I got for you. I hope you, you know, you play this thing a couple of times. Maybe before you go to work in the morning, every morning, just take a quick listen to this video so you don't get yourself in trap and be paying a price that you surely, you know, are going to end up regretting, you know, sooner than you may think. Love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye now.